Let's talk about the Military Lending Act Safe Harbor. Hi there, this is Jared Moyer with Bankers Compliance Consulting. For whatever reason, when we do training across the country and we talk Military Lending Act, there, what for, there's this confusion about the safe harbor and what it is and how it works. So let's go back to big picture of the Military Lending Act. What it states is for active duty service members and their dependents, right, there is some red tape, there's some restrictions, there's some things banks can and can't do when it comes to those covered borrowers. So the Military Lending Act said, all right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give a safe harbor or provide a safe harbor if the financial institution does one of two things in identifying these potential active duty service members and their dependents. Think of it as a cross check. You can either go to the Military Lending Act database through a website, or you can outsource it to your credit reporting agency. They'll do the cross check prior to loan consummation for you. If you go through one of those two avenues, okay, you can't be liable if those databases are off and something falls through the cracks. That's a good thing. That's the safe harbor. Well, what if I don't use the safe harbor? Well, nothing says you have to, but then if you miss something, it's on you and you will be held liable. So you're not in violation if you didn't go through the credit reporting agency, if you don't go to the website, as long as they don't turn out to have been an active duty service member or dependent when that application came through. If they aren't an active duty service member or dependent, not checking doesn't do you any harm. But the safe harbor in the long run is a good thing to have in place. It's a great way to mitigate the risk in missing somebody who might be an active duty service member or a dependent. So the safe harbor is just one of the many things that we're going to be talking about in our upcoming webinar, the Military Lending Act. It's one hour and we're going to provide to you and your team the plain English take on all the red tape, the provisions, the restrictions as it relates to the Military Lending Act. So get your team registered today and we'll hope to see you there.